The following contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. Here we go. James just saw the Batman. Wow. I don't know if that's how you wrote it, but that's how I'm saying it. I love it. I can't wait (laughs) to see it. (laughs) I can't wait to see it again this Saturday with my brother. Anyway, I was wondering, aside from the three-hour runtime, I couldn't think of one flaw this film has. What about you? Is it perfect or is it just me? Ahola Hector. Um, well, we talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly earlier. The one flaw for me, I, I think just, I don't know, I just one more touch of Alfred towards the end for me is what I would say this movie could have used. Um, just, just, I, I he kind of, he had the moment in the hospital, so he got that moment. But I think if you put half of that moment later on, just to go back to Alfred, right? Because in this movie, we lose the Riddler for so long, but it never feels like we lose him. And then when y- you get him, you get him. And then at the end, he's there. But but Alfred is such a prominent part of Bruce. like Because every time he goes to the cave, uh, Alfred shows up. Alfred shows up. Alfred shows up and he clearly cares for him. And and Robbie mentioned earlier, he gets the cufflinks right before the bomb, right? That's like the big thing. And so I, I just think one more scene with Alfred at the end would have, would have, I don't know if it would have, I mean, would have put it over the top. I think this movie's already over the top, but that would, that would be my one gripe with it. I guess, Scotty, what was, what would you say was the flaw of this film or is it perfect? <laughs> it's tough, man. Um, you can say the Joker again. Yeah, I, I was gonna say like, there's just a lot of question marks at the end of this as far as like his design. I feel like is my biggest gripe because that character is so hard to do, and uh, Andrew hit on it earlier. Like, how can you do him different? I think that this like disproportionate, like deformed looking super super sketchy joker could be the way to go and where he's wearing like the mask that looks normal joker and when he pulls it up you just start to see like the missing gum lines and things like that yeah rob what was imperfect about this movie i mean i think we covered it a little bit but the one that i actually thought of while we were talking about it as well is that you know especially now that you just mentioned the bomb going off and the scene that follows immediately afterwards that blows up and he winds up in the police station and it's like that result was basically him punching a cop breaking out of prison these cops wanting wanting his head and so i think that's about the only part that it was like what just changed there why weren't the cops kind of like hunting him still afterwards a little bit because that part was maybe slightly overlooked uh, because like, you know, they were ready to, you know, want to take off his mask and, you know, uh, him breaking out of the police station. We just really escalated that whole thing more. And so that's maybe one other thing that I think maybe, uh, could have been, um, smoothed out a little bit better. That's fair. Andrew. Yeah. Andrew Hector- Joker. Anytime Joker shows up at anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hector, there's only one perfect movie and it's the 1985 martial arts epic Jim Cotta. Okay. Um, the, no, the only, I mean, I mentioned the gripes. I, I want, uh, I wanted the Thomas Wayne thing to be a much more prevalent, like he was a bad dude thing. But as we've said, like, that's something that we can talk more about in the sequels. Uh, so I'm not going to sit here and, and poo poo that yet. Uh, because it's, it, there's definitely room for that to grow. Uh, you bring up a good point, Rob, though, about the, the like the p- cops and all that and how it just kind of came and went and there was nothing to it. Uh, the one thing that we hear Matt Reeves say a lot is that this movie used to be quite a bit longer. Uh, and he keeps reminding us of that. Yeah. So maybe just some things had to get lost. Uh, you know, something had to go on the cutting room floor. And I don't know, maybe we're going to have uh, an extended cut one day. I don't know. I don't think we're going to get an extended cut. I think Reeves made it clear that this was his cut that we're getting, but I think the GCPD show could take, if that's what you're, if that, if you are right, Andrew, those will be deleted scenes maybe, but those elements could be used on the GCPD show. Uh, Arnold says that Andrew hates billionaires and that is absolutely correct. You're not wrong, Arnold. um, (laughs) (laughs) The problem with superhero movies and comic book movies is that there's going to be a sequel. So you can leave things for the sequel. 
Mm -hmm. But is it always the right way to go about it? That's that's the question.